name was Robert E. Perry, Tech 5, U.S. Army, World War II, 1911 to 1976. So he had 30 good years after the war. Hopefully he was okay. I see a couple more down here. Here's Norman Redline. He was a World War II vet. Mario Redline. Hmm. Big. One of them must have been. Maybe both of them. Both born 1902, 1901. They joined the war in their 40s. Holy crap. Wow. Hmm. Here are two stones that are down. Okay. This one says George, A I'm gonna say Adam, item. I can't even pronounce that last name. Gibberia in Taver, 1812. Gestorben, oh, they must be uh, German maybe. Christus der ist mein something ebu und geterben mein gemina. And I guess and this is his wife, Maria Melba Melb. Okay. 1898. And I can't tell what that says either. Very interesting. And here is Melba Miller, Melber. 1922 to 1923. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, here we have Charles Bellhorn, World War II vet. Okay. And there's another one behind me. Also, is it World War One vet? And you see that? Huh. Harvey Rarig, private company, 21st MGBN, World War One, 1894 to 1961. Huh. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Rarigs. Yeah. Okay, here's another Civil War vet. It is Samuel Wallace. Samuel J. Wallace, Private Company B, 100th Infantry. Here's another. Gibson, 1882, died. Jacob Myers, died 1866. Some sort of writing. I don't waste too much time because I want to get. Okay. To this one over here. There's a big uh, stone here. Okay, this guy died in 1903, Sergeant Company, 147th Infantry, uh, I believe that is a, nine, nine, I don't know what that is, Department, uh, Post, GAR, I think that means Civil War. 
No, he died in 1903. Uh, he was born October 1837. Jesse K. Pryor, his wife Susan Painter. Pryor. Okay. John Painter, son of Jesse and Susan Pryor. Okay. Oh, holy cow. Died in infancy. Didn't even live one year. Holy cow. Okay. Here's a Sarah Sherry, 1869. Hmm, she told her age, 75 years old. Okay, maybe this is one of those ones that we can decipher from with the camera because I can't read it at all. I'm gonna try different angles. Okay. Okay. And then there's a soldier here, Sergeant Company F. John Sherry, 132nd PA Infantry. That's a Civil War star there. Okay. Okay, we're at the older side of the museum, but there's some uh, in remarkable grave. I'm gonna say it's for the Stroh family. And Kleins, Ella, William, William, Horace, Mamie, Nathan, Nathan Glace, Mamie Walter, Horace Walter, Baby, Lizzie, Harry, A S. One of the S's must have got wiped out. W. H. Stroh, and here's the Stroh side. Okay, Sophie William Stroh, T. B. E. B. Annie, father W. H. S. Mother M. B. S. Oh, she's very educated, and Julia Klein. But that's not the one I wanted to photograph. It's this one here, of Foster, as in Foster Township. Okay, Asa Lansford Foster. Okay, born Roe, Mass, Massachusetts, 1798. Died in Wilkesbury, January 9th, 1868. And his wife, Louia, Louisa Trot Chapman, uh, she died in 1861 for him. So his wife died before him. And their infant children, Marion and Louisa. Isaac Chapman, first civil engineer of the Lehigh Coal and Navigation Company, born March 23rd, 1787, died 1827. I don't know if that's the oldest one yet, Jim, or, or not. Uh, seems to be in good shape. Uh, but Foster Township is a very old name. Here we go. Here's a list of all his children. I'm not going to go over them. Kind of hard to, the light is really bad here. Okay. 1887, 1874, 1839, 1866. So, so far 1827 is the oldest death, but I'm really suspect as to whether or not this is the oldest tombstone. Okay, there it is. Conyer, who fell in the Battle of Malvern Hill, July 2nd, 1862, 30 years. And his wife, Mary Chapman Foster. So rich people served in the war too. Colonel Eli T. Connor. His wife and their son, who died 1861. Eckley, Mary Chapman, she died 1861. He died just after she died. 
he died at four years. Oh, holy shit. There's a sad story there. Yeah. Okay. Here is Mary Foster. No date. Maybe we'll have the oldest one, though. Here is some sort of foster. Can't make it out. There. Here is Jazz W. Foster. Here is Henry Etta P. Foster. Thomas Foster. Look at that plastic flower somebody put here. So Thomas L. Foster. And Louise Chapman Foster. Okay. Here's a picture of the Foster family stone. Okay, this is a pretty old one. I can't read it, but it looks like 1865. All right, I'm running out of battery, so i just see if I can get different angles of it. Maybe we can figure out what the writing says. Okay, here's one little nook and cranny. Uh, Civil War vet Thomas or Charles H. Webb, Private Company A, 118 PA Infantry, 1840-1932, and then there are two stones next to it. Can't quite make out the reading at all, but maybe video will help. Okay, maybe these are the oldest ones. Okay. Jim, this is Garrett Broadhead. Looks like 1792. Uh, that looks like 1872. I was going to say this is the oldest one, uh, but maybe not. Here's another Garrett Broadhead. Oh, no, Cornelia. Okay, wife of. Okay. And this is the whole Broadhead family. Okay. Couple old tombstones that I couldn't read anything at all. Okay. Okay, this is a Miller Civil War vet. Okay. Uh, uh, Private First Class Battle 311 Field Artillery 78th Division. And here's another Miller, born 1813, died 1892. Okay. And then one more Miller. Okay. And more Millers. I guess I'm in the Miller end. Okay. And Haas. Okay, I can't really read this one. It looks pretty old, but I'm going to say 1870. Samuel. I'm going to say Richards, maybe. Okay. Okay, I can just barely make this one out, but it is Julia M. Blakesley. No date that I could see maybe it show up better in the camera but it's remarkable in that she's a Blakesley and she's not married over there yeah okay she's married way over here she's buried way over here by herself Let's see if we can pick up some of that writing 